Okay, so since I've been on the Makers course, I've been trying to get myself into the right way of thinking. Now, coming from being a maths teacher, I have a lot of experience in helping others as well as myself to know how to break a problem down, to get it into separate parts and to be able to solve those much smaller problems. And you would think at that stage that CS and maths are one and the same. I'd be able to just slide in easily. But whilst there are many crossovers, I find as well that there are parts that I need to add to my repertoire. Um, so I want to bring up uh, a problem I've been doing on leak code that will help explain that. So it's not that the math side of things is incorrect. Uh, not at all. In fact, I'm, I'm witnessing in this particular problem, it's got its benefits. But when I saw other solutions, I equally thought, mine's very involved. If there was a situation where we needed to create code quickly, this is not the way forward. And there's this incremental algorithmic kind of approach. Uh, so let's have a look at what I'm talking about. Um, so here we are. So at Leak Code, uh, and this is the example 70 climbing the stairs. So the, the problem itself isn't such a big deal, but uh, it's the solutions that we'll look at. But just in general, we can see it says you are climbing a staircase. It takes N steps to reach the top. Each time you can either climb one or two steps in how many distinct ways. Now, for me, this was a key thing in, in how many distinct ways can you climb to the top? Now, as a maths teacher, uh, bells start ringing when I hear that. I start to think distinct uh, is where people start to to talk about the difference of permutations, combinations. So immediately that starts ringing for me. Um, so really, I mean, it gets it across it. So it says there, look, you can have one step, one step, one step, one and two steps, or two and one steps when there's three steps. Immediately the example screams out to me as a maths teacher, this is a permutations combinations with a combination situation. So what I wanna do is show you um, in JavaScript what my submission was. So let's bring that up. Um, now, I was immediately pleased, uh, oh, sorry, uh, let's, let's go to the submitted code and then come back. So you can see here, I went straight in with um, setting this up. It says finding factorial. So this was the deal. So if you scroll down, the actual function they've asked for, climb stairs, seems fairly straightforward. I've got here, um, it will just run through adding the combinations to the result and at the end punch out how many ways there were. But to achieve that, we needed more work. So first of all, I need, I realized I wanted to find the combinations and I didn't know a straightforward way to do that. So I started to consider how you did that. And then I find out, well, there isn't just a factorial button that you can have in JavaScript. So I had to take a step back further and, and make a, a make a JavaScript calculator. Okay, so these were the steps, but I knew the way a mathematician would work is they would say, here's the problem as a whole. And is there a way that I can um, create a formula that you break down that simplifies the larger problem into one problem? That's the difference here that I'm looking at. So the benefit of that was, as you can see here, I was quite pleased with myself because uh, it said you beat 90.33% of the competition in terms of the speed for your solution. So you think, great, I, a mathematician's come into hand here, but that, I won't lie, that took me an awful long time to achieve. But let's go and have a look at a solution here uh, by somebody else. So oh, I need to put that in JavaScript. Um, let's have a look. So let's take a look at this one. Now, I think it's fair to say that solution is far, far shorter and potentially quicker to get to than mine was. And this is what I'm learning here is that not that maths, uh, I say the maths approach, I'm sure there's there's people out there that are screaming saying, no, in maths you do this uh, as well. This is a, a, a valid approach. But obviously the more mainstream pure mathematicians would have taken the, well, I say that, statisticians, binomial coefficients. Uh, but we look at this one and we think that's much neater potentially easier for people to understand. So overall, really, this is what I'm getting at. I would I would like to say that during this time, I'm finding that not that maths is, uh, the, the, the formulaic approach is wrong. It had its benefits there. That breakdown meant that the solution required far fewer steps because we crunched the problem down. But the irony is that actually to get to that solution using the power of the machine, 
it could be done much quicker. So it's not that it's wrong. I'm trying to add more often that algorithmic thinking to my, my, my approach.